to today's vlog. Today's gonna be a different vlog. Today's vlog is one that apparently everyone has been waiting for based on the comments yep. of our last few videos. Uh, yep. But we are excited to tell you guys that we are having another baby. baby. Yay, another baby. We're baby so excited. Two. I know, yeah. I can't believe it. We're honestly so scared. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like so uh, As you'll see from nervous. the footage of me finding out, yeah. I was, I'm scared. I don't know if I was more scared the first time or the second time. Probably the first time and I just don't remember. Cause this time we know what to expect and right. I feel like it's almost more exciting in a way because you know like everything to come. Whereas with your first pregnancy, like you know you're gonna love your baby, you know it's gonna be great, but like you haven't experienced it. Whereas this time I'm like, I can't believe like how much we're gonna love the baby. Right. in me because we know how much we love Co. whereas before right. like you don't know how much you're gonna love them you know if that okay. makes sense because you yeah. haven't experienced that kind of love that you have like for a child right so we're so excited we're freaking scared to have two i feel I like know. zero to one i just already know one to two is gonna be harder because zero to one was just like really easy for us she was a great baby. Right. It was a really easy transition. So we're so excited. We planned this baby. So we're not like yeah. shocked or anything, but I yeah. think that we just are like, holy crap. We used to have no kids and now we're gonna have two. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of shocked by, not that it took a long time either time, but the first time it took us- Five months. Five months when we were trying. And mm -hmm. this time it took us- Three. Oh, three months. So yeah. I was also kind of like expecting it to take us a few more months of trying yeah. before like getting that news. So I was like, I was so caught off guard and yeah. just like, boom, reality, it just hit you, you know? And we were like, I know, no, we're, now we're having two babies, so. I know. We used to have none, it's so weird. I know. We used to not have a dog, like it's so weird it used to just be us and now there's gonna be five of us. Whoa. This is crazy. So oh, last okay. time I had no idea that I was pregnant. I feel like a lot of people will be like, oh, I just like felt off, I had a feeling, I knew. The first right. time I had no idea at all. This time I did feel like I knew I had more cramps, my back was hurting, I just like had more symptoms early on and I still found out super early. I wasn't even four weeks yet. Way early, yeah. So I woke up in the morning, you were still sleeping and I took a test and I always test way too early. You where... didn't film that though, did you? I did. Do we have that footage? Yeah. You where? weren't you weren't there because you were asleep. Oh, where's the it's footage? It's on my at? phone. I just oh, filmed okay. on my phone. Oh. Because I didn't think even though I felt like I maybe was, I usually just film it on my phone just because right. I don't know, it's easier. So I took the test and I always use these little like cheapy ones. So I don't feel bad if I like test a bunch of times and it's negative, right. but I just like knew that it was gonna be positive. And it was so faint like last time with Cove. And so I decided I was gonna wait a couple days to tell Parker just to like have the news sink in right. for me. And so that I could get a digital test. Most of the time you don't get a positive on a digital unless you're like closer to missing your period because the HCG and whatever needs to like be high enough. So I just found out myself. Then I waited a couple days to get the digital test so then I could tell Parker. So I'll put that footage in here. Okay, I'm whispering because I don't want Parker to hear me, but I'm gonna take this pregnancy test. I took one a couple days ago and it was super faint and I'm pretty sure this is gonna say yes. If it doesn't, I will be really surprised. I have my peak up. <laughs> Parker's getting cold right so hopefully he doesn't come here. I locked the door. But... Oh wait, wait, I'm supposed to pee on it. I don't have to pee. Okay, I'm just gonna dip it in the pee cup. It's probably the same. Anyways, I guess I'll just do this really fast. I haven't taken one of these since I was pregnant with Coke. Okay, do me one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. So I took one a couple days ago. So I'll show you guys. There's one of these ones. So you probably can't even see it, but it's a super, super faint line. So when I got pregnant the first time, it was also a really faint line. So where should I put this pee? It was super faint. So my reaction, I was kind of just like, wait, am I pregnant? And then Parker's reaction was the same because we were like, is it positive? We can't really tell. And then I even took one the next day and it wasn't a digital one like this. It was one of these ones I just showed you guys. Or I think it was like a different, I don't even know. Anyways, point of the story is it was super faint. So we both were kind of just like, wait, is it positive? I don't know. And it was obviously, cause we have Cove. I wanted to wait a few days because I always test way early and that's why it's so faint. And I wanted to just like give Parker a digital test <laughs> so that it's like super clear that I am actually pregnant. So I think what I'm gonna do is have Cove give it to him. Okay, fine. 
thought he was gonna come in here. Anyways, I think I'm gonna like have Koa give it to him. I don't know, hopefully this says yes. So I had to wait until like a digital would say yes because I think you're supposed to take them after you miss your period. <gasps> Last time I didn't really have like any symptoms before I missed my period. I feel like it's hard to remember, but I remember being like so shocked because I thought I would just have this like intuition that I knew. And I feel like this time I had that, but last time I didn't. Now I need to make a plan. And then last night when I was thinking about this, I was like, wait, what if he thinks Cove like got a hold of my old pregnancy test? Because I actually still have it. I don't think it says pregnant anymore, but I have like a baggie of like 50 tests that I took when I was pregnant with Cove. So I need to just like think of a plan. I don't know how he's gonna react either because I feel like we both are people that it just like does not set in for us when we like first see the test. So like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna figure out a plan. Hey, are you all ready? What? <laughs> to dad where'd he go <laughs> nuh uh are you being serious yeah you're pregnant <laughs> are you serious are you being dead serious yeah how <laughs> what do you mean how how long have you been pregnant I don't know are you <laughs> I did not think I was gonna cry. I didn't think you were gonna cry. <laughs> so crazy. We didn't even cry last time. You're not pregnant. Yeah, yeah, I just took that. How? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, I'm only three weeks, but. Are you serious? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what? I'm not, I'm not ready cry. for two. Me either. I'm not ready. That's why I'm crying. I'm really scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you want to have a baby? <clears throat> no? I already knew. How did you know? Because I took one a couple days ago. It was really faint and so I didn't. I just wanted to like give you a, like <laughs> a digital one that just like said yes. Because the last time we didn't have that. <laughs> Is that why you looked at me funny in there? <laughs> yeah. And I've been like dropping hints to you kind of. Like yesterday I was like, yeah, so what do you think? I was like talking about a double stroller. Yeah. And just like, <laughs> what, is it funny? Mm -hmm. I don't know, just saying like random things. I'm, I'm excited, but I'm, I'm a little scared. Yeah, I'm, I didn't even, I didn't think that we, you would get pregnant for at least another five months. You think? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, this time was faster. What? What? Are you gonna have a little brother? I feel like it's a boy. You do? <laughs> Convinced, yeah. But I thought that was Cove too. That's what I was asking you yesterday too. I said, what do you think our you next one will be? Coco? Do you think mommy should have another baby? Dude, <laughs> I'm so caught off guard right now. Oh, I know, I was so surprised. I just like knew though. I like, I feel like not good already. Really? Not like way sick, but. So that's why like, last night tell. when Cassidy was here, you were like, my belly's bigger than yours because you have a baby in there. Yeah. Yeah, Parker's sister came over yesterday. We found out they're having a girl. She's like 21 weeks, so she's like pretty far ahead of me, but yeah. You guys are gonna be pregnant at the same time. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Do you want this? <gasps> Mommy's gonna have another baby. There's gonna be two babies. That's <laughs> so scary. I'm not ready. We have nine months. Oh <laughs> I'm not gosh. either. I feel like it's that way though, even with like the first one. I feel like I'm more nervous now, knowing like knowing what like because before I didn't know what to expect. Yeah. But now knowing like what happens and like I don't know. You have to wake up early <laughs> in the morning to go get them, and you have to wake up through the night to feed them. Yeah, now I'm a little bit beginning. more nervous. Yeah, only at the beginning. But you're so excited. Yeah. Yeah. Mommy's gonna have another baby. That's crazy, huh? In October. October? Mm hmm. Same as our anniversary? Yeah. <laughs> so, as you guys can tell, he was very surprised. I, I ugly cried so bad. It was, I was so confused when I saw her walking up. 
It was I also gave the like it was really Cove. really cute to have Cove bring it up to me. Yeah. But like Cove came walking right up to me and handed it to me, almost like she knew what she was doing. It was weird. Yeah. I cried like a little baby because <laughs> I was scared to have two. Yeah. But I'm. I feel like it's gonna be good. Yeah. We're gonna, I know we're gonna it'll be fun. It. All my friends have. Well, not all of them, but like most of my Every friends have two. Every single one of your friends have two. Most of them do have two, if oh. not three, and right. they all say like, "Oh, two is so much better than one." Right. It's gonna be fun. They're gonna be like buddies, you know. Yeah. We're super super excited, but also I just know the transition to one to two is gonna be harder. And like right. two schedules to follow. We were like really scheduled with Cove and I feel like it was great because she was such a good baby. She was really like dependable to follow the schedule. So right. I definitely want to do that with the second one because it just made having a like newborn, I feel like easier than if you just have like no schedule. So we'll see how the baby is, but we have until October. <laughs> to like get ready and get prepared. So I don't know. I feel like it still almost doesn't feel real. I'm almost done with my first trimester. It's, and it's been, been rough very, for her. Very well. We feel like speaking for you kind of, I feel like it's been the exact opposite of Cove. Yeah. Like that pregnancy. Mm -hmm. She was just happy and like not sick at all and perfect. And now she's moody and, yeah. and it's hard can't not to be when like, you're like so be in the sick. kitchen, like yeah. scents and stuff are really getting to her. Yeah, I definitely had a few of the same sometimes like last time I couldn't handle scents either and had like no appetite because right. your sense of smell is heightened so on my main channel I'm gonna do a first trimester update talk about oh, all of that okay. in more detail usually we have two vlogs a week but there was a couple weeks where we just did one because I've pretty much just been in bed most of the time mm -hmm. Parker has been like taking care of the house taking care of Cove I'm starting to feel like a little bit better I feel like now I don't feel as sick usually until like the afternoon but I just have like no energy, no appetite, and just feel like exhausted all the time. Right. So I'm hoping that within like a week or two, I feel back to normal. I feel like it's been so long of like not feeling good. I don't even remember what it's like to feel normal. Last time, if you guys remember when we were pregnant with Cove, we did give like a couple hints. Oh. So I feel like we kind of only intentionally did like one, one. One hint. There was a couple other things though that like people picked up on that weren't intentional. So in another vlog, we'll talk about like what those things were. But definitely for the past like two months, I've had a lot of people being like, you're pregnant, I know you're pregnant. Everyone. And I just want to say, PSA, don't say that to people unless we distinctly give you a hint. But like even back before there was anything, I had messages and you just never know like if something could have happened or if someone has been trying to get pregnant. So I just want to say that in this video. Don't say that to people. Don't DM them because literally before I shared any single indication that I was pregnant, people were messaging me like, I just have a feeling, I just know you are. And what if I was trying and I wasn't? Or what if something happened? And obviously people are just saying that because they're like excited for us, but That's I just can't I imagine it. if we like had been trying for a year and I was getting comments like that or if like I did get pregnant and then something happened and then you have comments like, oh my gosh, I just know. Or like, oh, is that a bump or whatever? Right. So I just wanted to say that in this video. But we know you guys are all super excited for us and we're super excited. I'm excited to finally tell you guys because again, I've had so many messages and comments and I haven't really been posting very much, especially on Instagram because I haven't felt good. So I mostly have like, well, there's a lot of comments on YouTube, but I'll also a lot of Instagram DMs like why are you in your bed at 1 p.m. or whatever so I'm excited for you guys to finally know especially because this time we waited a little bit longer to share I'm 13 and a half weeks now and with Cove we shared at like 11 and a half weeks which isn't like that big of a difference but I just feel like we've known forever so we're excited to just like officially kind of share the news with you guys mm -hmm. and I'm so excited to be pregnant again it was such a fun experience last time this time hasn't been as fun <laughs> so far but I think especially when like you feel the baby move and right. all that stuff and get to go see ultrasounds and everything it's so exciting and just like knowing what's to come of right. like the fun memories and just like how a baby is so fun and how you love them so much i'm really excited yeah. um we do have some stuff that's pre-shot if i didn't already say that like our first ultrasound appointment we filmed telling people yeah telling a bunch of friends and family a couple other things i don't think there's that much that's pre-shot but we do have some our next vlogs will be like maybe some footage that's older but we'll probably like sit down and do an update and then like put the footage in that is our baby announcement this yes. time we're super excited i can't believe it i literally feel like i'm lying i know <laughs> It, it hasn't it's, hit me yet. It hasn't either, hit but me it never either. it didn't hit me with the first one until, until we like actually had her. Yeah. Or until we were driving to the hospital to have her. Then I was like, holy crap. I feel like it didn't hit me until I she baby. was like on my chest and I was right. like, Oh, I have a baby. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> like we'll, when I was about to push, I was like, I don't know if anything is like gonna come out. 
Like, right. I'm not convinced. But right. I went to the doctor today. Oh, I have that footage, so I can put that footage in here. Oh. All right, so I'm heading into my second doctor's appointment. I parked in, like, the worst spot because the sun is right here. So I'm heading in. I think that today they just, like, check the heartbeat and stuff and see if I have any questions on anything. I can't really remember what they do at these like little in-between appointments at the beginning that like you just don't really do much. They're not like testing anything I don't think. So it's just me. I honestly think it's so annoying that Parker can't go to these appointments with me and like anyone else can go out to a restaurant with like however many people or literally go anywhere with any amount of people with them as long as you wear a mask but our mask mandate just ended so cases are lower and hopefully Parker will be able to come to the next one with me. I know he can come to the 20 week one. I don't know if there's one in between now and the 20 week one. I don't think that there is but I'll find out. I also don't know what I'm gonna really film in here because I'm not gonna take the camera in. I'll just take my phone and I'll try to get at least like one little clip but it's like awkward to film myself so I don't know but I'm at the doctor and I'm about to head in. Okay so I'm all done at the doctor. I got like two tiny little clips. But she said that everything looked perfect. Now I'm in line at the Chick-fil-A drive-thru because I've really been wanting their hash browns and hopefully it'll make Cove happy because she's like super grumpy today and sad. Anyways, so I do have another appointment before 20 weeks. I'm like kind of on a weird schedule. It's not the one that like she has on paper, like hung up in the room. It's like a couple weeks later for everything, but I do have one um, in like four weeks and then I'll have the 20 week one. But yeah, everything looked good. Didn't really get that much because it's kind of hard to film at the doctor, but I got to hear the heartbeat, which was super fun. Yeah, so that's where we're at now, but we're super excited. So we're excited to have you guys on this journey with us for baby number two. Mm -hmm. And we will see you guys in our next vlog. Bye, Bye. guys.